Hi guys, this is old Commodore Colin bringing you another clip of World of Warships. Now, this is the tier 10 Russian destroyer, the Kabarovsk. And if you guys have missed this from my channel before, <laughs> From all the 800 other times I said it's, uh, this is probably my yeah, absolute starts. favorite ship in the game. The Kaparovsk is, uh, well, it's just overpowered. Let's just uh, say <laughs> that uh, it pretty much makes you feel like uh, you're Superman when you play this ship because. Uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want, which is uh, a real refreshing feeling in a tier 10 game. <laughs> because uh, you don't have to fear anything, pretty much. Maybe except another good uh, Kabarovsk uh, captain. Um, you can pretty much uh, scare off and kill off uh, any ship in the game. Uh, just using some basic uh, skills. Uh, you have uh, extreme uh, fast speed, you can uh, pretty much uh, go 48.8 knots, I think, with uh, speed boost and... Uh, or 48.7 maybe. Speed boost and uh, speed flag. And you have uh, great guns, rapid firing guns with low arcs. So, uh, you can pretty much take on any ship without uh, having to fear anything. So, this is a 3 cap domination, and uh, I set off going for B first, but uh, since there were already were two friendly destroyers closer, I go for A instead. So, uh, it looks uh, good so far. We are a bit spread out for a tier 10 game. We have uh, three different groups going for three different caps, which isn't really that great. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. So we seem to have a cruiser and an enemy battleship close by. So I'm uh, slowing down, popping my uh, smoke because I want a cap. And uh, I started pinching this uh, Mogami. I'm switching to armor piercing because I want to get uh, some citadels on him, but uh, he starts moving away. So I have to switch back to HE again. But you, if you look at this uh, rate of fire, it's uh, just insane. Now we have two uh, friendly DDs at B, and we also have a friendly DD capping C, so it looks pretty good so far. Now I took A for a team, and I'm starting to engage the Iowa instead. He's a big juicy slow target and a bit easier for me to uh, hit than a uh, Mogami trying to dodge sailing away. Holy shit we got incoming torps! Oh this is gonna be close! Ah! I could tell that those torps were never gonna hit me. It was, uh, I just planned it that way. <laughs> oh, shit. Gonna have a little shore leave. Time for those uh, sailors to uh, have a bit of R&R. So, these guys are on the move. So we just start to chase them off. Now the thing is, because of this ship is so fast and maneuverable, 
I pretty much don't have to even focus those ships in front. I can just uh, use those WASD hacks and uh, do a little dodging and it won't be a problem. Shooting off uh, some torps for that hipper. I don't think they are gonna be efficient because they are really really slow. Now this uh, Mogami somehow managed to sail into that uh, land over there. So of course we need to punish him for that. Now of course uh, this being uh, Russian guns loaded with uh, Stalinium shells, you should really switch to armor piercing as soon as you have a broadside uh, cruiser or battleship. Sorry mate, but uh, sometimes I'm just too lazy, <laughs> so I just spam away with those HE shells. Uh, quite possible to get like uh, five or six uh, thousand salvos with uh, the Kabarovsk on a tier 9 8 battleship. And uh, if you think about uh, you have a salvo every 3.7 second, I think, in this ship, you can really put the hurt on a battleship with these guns. So, we apparently have an uh, enemy destroyer somewhere close by. So, of course, my uh, priority number one is to find and kill that guy. We also have an uh, enemy Atago closing in that I need to be a bit aware of. I'm just trying to set some fires on this uh, Iowa as well. Now the Fubuki pops up, so I start to engage him as, instead. It should be too early for uh, Torps, so I should be safe for right now. I did pop smoke here because I didn't want to go straight into that Atago. Since all my uh, support is on the other side of the mountain, I'm the only one on this side. Set. But uh, he's dead, so I'm just uh, leaving through the smoke again, going for the Iowa once again. Book is back. Torpedo beats. Never leave home without them. So it seems we killed off every ship in the south. So it's time to head north. To Winterfell. To the wall. Yeah, sorry guys. I need some editing. <laughs> so. Uh, if you guys uh, want to check out this uh, ship, the Kabarovsk, the public test server is still up for another four days. So just sign up on the test server in uh, Wargaming website and uh, download the clients and uh, you can pretty much grind to the Kabarovsk in uh, maybe six, eight games. 
and uh, you can see for yourselves how powerful this ship is. Now I have an enemy Yamato who is pretty much full health. So he's gonna be my next victim, hopefully. He's uh, pretty angled, so it's no really need for trying uh, armor piercing at this angle. But you can see I do uh, pretty nice damage uh, anyways, about 2-3k two, two, a salvo. And also of course the extra uh, damage through fire as well. I'm pretty much the only guy on the team who is engaging this Yamato Yar right now and I'm uh, doing consistent damage to him. There's another fire. <laughs> More fires. Now I pop my smoke here because he's turning in towards me. So I'm undetected. But wow. He hit me pretty good anyways. Now he's below half health, so I'm just working him down. And this is the power of the Kabarovsk. Shit. Okay. That apparently is the power of the <laughs> Yamato. <laughs> he can shoot me while I'm undetected. But great shots. But as you can see, uh, did some decent credits, decent experience. Made number one in the team, which is always great when you are a destroyer and you do so so little damage per shell. But there's a lot of shells. Two hundred and ninety-six spells, one kill, almost hundred thousand damage. All in all, pretty okay game, but uh, for the most, it's very fun playing the Kabarovsk. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one, guys.